Welcome to the ranch, day four of Vlogmas. This is how my morning has started. December has been a great month so far, let me tell you. <laughs> so day four of Vlogmas starts off with me being up a little early, Eric being up very early, and this kid, the smallest of the family, waking up in the middle of the night, or really early sometime this morning, feeling awful. And so it sounds like he's got ooh, a lot of bet of what Eric's got. So another sickie is down at the house. Yep. So we're getting filled up here with some sickness. Um, I am not sick. This is my morning. <clears throat> have to clear my throat voice. But this little guy spent the evening um, in our bed. I did not spend the evening in our bed. I ended up sleeping in the other room. And Ezekiel and Eric hung out in here in the sick room because he got his little setup over there. He's got himself some hot tea, hot tea barf cup, barf cup water cup. <laughs> He's got everything next to my side of the bed. You said you liked the hot tea. What was in the hot tea? Um, mint and... Some mint and honey? Yep, mint and honey. And you're not a big fan of honey, are you? Nope. But it's a pretty good herbal tea. I'm gonna take another drink while I'm in here. <clears throat> so he's dealing with some headache, some nausea, vomiting, and some nasty coughing. So I'm dealing with him. We're gonna get ready to, are you gonna take another drink? No? So he is going to be kind of on quarantine today. Eric is out in the main area with the bigger kids right now. We're getting ready to listen to church service. And this one is gonna hang out in here and kind of relax, relax and rest and watch some TV while um, we're out there listening to the service. So that's the start of day four of Vlogmas, another day of sick people. Yeah. I was hoping to do some fun stuff today. We might do fun things without you. Okay. Are you cool with that? <laughs> he doesn't even care. He's over it. Yeah, I am. Hey, I'm just really proud of you wearing a shirt today. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't, but I'm I know, I made you wear a shirt. All right. Stay tuned for how the rest of our day will go. You never know around here. Don't throw up in my bed, DLZ. DLZ. Okay. In the wrong object, and it will not save you. Now, like, I've been praying leading up to this message. I've been praying that if you don't know the Lord Jesus, that your faith would come to rest in the Lord Jesus, that you would love the Lord Jesus, that you would know the Lord Jesus. Okay, so I had my chauffeur drive me into town today because <laughs> he wanted to get some food to eat. We didn't go to church today. Um, we stayed home and watched service. And then I realized we didn't have any ice. I forgot to get ice yesterday. So um, I didn't feel like driving. Luke didn't feel like going in places to go get ice. So he drove me down to town. We went to Bucky's. And I grabbed some ice, and I may have picked up a Christmas sweater or something for people. I may have picked up something for someone for a Christmas gift. But I did get ice, and that was the most important thing. And then um, Luke got his Panda Express. So I thought that was the girl coming to give us our food, but they're like in such a line that I guess we're never gonna get, nope. <laughs> get our food. They told us to go around and park, so. Um, She'll find us. I'm just glad Eric's interested in eating something um, because he is, yeah, he's not been really eating a lot. So we get him his food and um, take him a burger and maybe he'll yeah, ready. <laughs> so we could do this while we're driving home. We could chat. <laughs> so I was just telling Luke that while we were gone, Ezekiel got sick. Abigail texted me and said Ezekiel threw up. So that's fantastic. No, get out of bed. You ain't going back to bed. I'm like, I ain't going back to bed. I'm taking you downstairs to mom and dad. Oh, here comes my food. Yeah. I see it because it's got the shake. And thank goodness, thank goodness, I was too lazy to take my uh, barf cup downstairs <laughs> from... That's us. Thank you so much. Have, Have a wonderful day. day. Thanks. I'm eating real quick. So you had your barf cup from the other... I still have my barf cup from... Was it from like from... two weeks ago? Yeah, when you from were, like two weeks sick? ago. Oh my gosh. I had my barf cup up there still. And thank goodness I was quick... Because I think he... Because at that point, he's just dry heaving. Like I was looking on the ground. I didn't see anything. So I think he was just dry heaving at that point. But like I said, I was like... Oh, and I looked over, still have my barf cup there. I was like, yes, I grab it. Give it to him. I said, throw up in this. I shoved it into his hand. And so I was like, come on, let's go. And I'm, I can't really like pick him up or like, I just like put my hand on his back. I was like, let's go. 
At this point, I was a little more caring because I was like, maybe I should be quiet. I'm like, come on, buddy, let's go. I was like whispering a little bit. And when I came downstairs, we went down like two or three steps. And, the, and then I see the light come on in the hallway and dad comes out. He's like, what's going on? I'm like, oh, I'm like, was I being that loud? <laughs> no, it's just that he's real sensitive. Mm -hmm. But he, he came out like he was fully awake too. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh my goodness. But yeah. And then I went back up soon and went right back to bed as if I hadn't even been awake at all. Back home. And now we're going to give everybody their lunches and we are going to hang out and get a little bit of football for the afternoon. And burger. Dad's burger uh -huh. that I got for him uh -huh. and that you ended up eating because uh -huh. he didn't like it. Stop licking your butt, let him lip. Okay. My mother-in-law was amazing and yesterday made us some dinner ahead of time and so we had already had dinner made last night so um, I put it in the fridge and so today I just turned the oven on I just put them in she made us some pot pies so we are going to have pot pie for dinner tonight um, and that saves me time having to cook normally we go to her house on Sundays for dinner but this evening obviously we are filled with sickness. So um, we've got the sick kid on the floor, the sick husband that's outside walking around doing who knows what. And all the kids are now working on putting the animals away and getting everybody put away for the night. Let's see what happens. He's actually a little bit better. Stop Titus. Hi Titus. Put him in the garage, yeah. He's doing better though, right? So he's been getting picked on every night and we want him to be put away so he doesn't get um, beat up while he's with his fam family at night. There's the rest of the animals being put away. Usually you see us opening everybody up and tonight we're putting everyone away. Joy, what's going on? We have new neighbors. Looks like they're out riding their four wheeler. Joy's a little irritated, apparently. New neighbors, you're not really happy with them? Joy? What's going on? New people. Yeah, I know. Mm, a little crispy. Joy, are you hungry? What Joy, are you hungry? What look, she doesn't know where to look. You need to cover for easy food. Are you hungry? The kid that usually feeds you is sick. What are you going to do with yourself? <laughs> what are you going to do? She's like, dude, nobody put food in my bowl. Joy, are you hungry? <laughs> how did Joy do? How did Joy do? Joy, are you hungry? She's like, dude, do you Here's know what I food? Do you need to go outside? Like this far from the top of the white cup. Joy. Ooh. Joy. Joy, your boy is sick. The kid that feeds you is sick. What are you gonna do with yourself? Go get your Go get your food. Well, I started my day here in my bedroom with a sick kid and I'm ending it with the same <coughs> sick kid. <laughs> Cover your mouth, please. Okay. Today has been a day of just going back and forth, trying to figure out one moment from the next, um, how I can make each person feel better. I went back and forth from oils to homeopathy to remedies. I've got rice packs here, rice socks. Um, Eric is still not feeling top notch. He is sitting in the living room with everybody. They're watching a movie now, a Christmas movie. And I've decided that it's almost eight o'clock and I need to wrap this up for the day so that I can get it together and post it. So day four, kind of boring, 
but it's my life. It's nothing super exciting here. Um, it was a nice trip into town today to go pick up some ice at the Bucky's. I should have recorded that is what I should have recorded me going into Bucky's. People were crazy in there, but, um, that was actually more packed than the Walmart yesterday. But, um, yeah, so it's just been another day here on the ranch. So tomorrow I'm sure we'll be filled with something else. I think that I've got a few things planned for tomorrow. Tuesday, I have a dentist appointment. Yeah, we've got a busy week here and I'm hoping that, um, all these kids don't get sick one by one. Hopefully he will start to feel better in the morning. Hopefully. Hopefully. I hope so too. Hey, who likes taking care of their family even and hating when they're sick? Farmer's wives do. Farmer's boys do. Farmer's boys hate being sick too? Okay. Yeah, for sure. All right. See you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bye. <laughs> oh, you poor sad thing. Look how sad you look. Your hair is pretty, pretty amazing. What's going on with that hair? <laughs> you did that. I know I did that. <laughs> I was trying to give you a little comb over. We were watching your movie. See ya. <laughs>